What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Piece of the Puzzle. It is officially summertime and today I want to talk about what I think is the perfect summer shoe because it's hot outside, you know, the layers are coming off and you still want to look super stylish and a very versatile shoe that can be used for any occasion during the summertime to me is the loafer. I think the loafer is by far the most versatile piece of footwear that you can use for the summertime because there's not a lot of pieces, there's not a lot going on, you slip it on, it's comfortable, super versatile. And today I wanted to go over three styles of loafers that I own in my collection. The penny loafer, the slipper loafer, and the loafer sneaker. Uh, it's a bit of a hybrid, the sole isn't quite your traditional hard bottom sole is instead a gum sole and so it makes for a bit of a more casual alternative to your traditional loafer all right so three different styles of loafers that i want to go through not only talk about them a bit but also show you an outfit for each style okay so why don't we go ahead and jump into the first style of loafer all right, so the first loafer that I'm going to talk about is the penny loafer. Technically, this is a tassel loafer, but it's in the style of a penny loafer. If you just rip these off, you'll have a penny loafer. Out of all of the loafers, I think the penny loafer is easily the most versatile because not only can you dress up a penny loafer to wear with the suit, you can also dress the penny loafer down to street style. You can wear the penny loafer with, you know, you can wear the penny loafer with baggier silhouettes. You can wear it with distressed denim. You can wear it with, you know, oversized jackets and things like that. Baseball caps, beanies like I do. You can wear the penny loafer with almost anything, basically, save for like maybe sportswear. For the vast majority of outfits that you come up with, a penny loafer will work. And I think that a lot of people don't necessarily realize that when people hear the word loafer, their mind automatically goes to dressing up or higher end casual or boat shoes or anything like that. But the loafer, especially the penny loafer, can be used in so many ways. I own three pairs of penny loafers. They all have this lug sole, which kind of allows it to work more in favor of street or street casual outfits um but it can still be dressed up with the suit and look fantastic all of my penny loafers have this lug sole because i just think it looks a little more interesting than your traditional hard bottom it's not hard it's made out of rubber and it is extraordinarily comfortable uh this is my latest pair i purchased these i want to say maybe about two months ago from Blackstock and Weber. It's a black owned company out of New York City, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, these retail for 375, I wanna say. I, uh, I'm asking a lot of questions uh, as I'm trying to remember these facts, but I will put it up on the screen so that way you will have the surefire answer. But yeah, these retail for about 375 to 385, somewhere in that ballpark. Um, I've worn them non-stop since purchasing them. I cannot get enough of them. They're all black. I needed a pair of all black loafers just to be able to throw them with anything, get around anywhere, and these are perfect. Um, I can even put up pictures on screen of my green pair and my brown pair so that way you can see what all of my loafers look like. Um, and just to give you an idea of, yeah, you can wear the penny loafer with a sh more street kind of style or with a casual or even with a suit. Penny loafer, slip it on, no show socks, high socks, whatever, shorts, pants, linen, doesn't matter. This is easily the most versatile shoe for the summertime. It'll keep your feet cooler than if you have on some chunky athletic shoes or anything like that super comfortable invest in a good pair a comfortable pair because if you do you will not regret it you'll be able to wear them for a lifetime if you take care of them and you'll be able to walk around everywhere i've stood in these bad boys for hours on hours on hours and my feet were completely fine so this isn't a sponsor by black stock and weber but i would highly suggest checking them out if you're in the market for a premium pair of loafers okay and they have all kinds of styles too so check them out um you can also check out gh bass that's where i got my first 
pairs of loafers, my first two pairs, and yeah, they're just as good in my opinion. So go ahead, check out the penny loafer if you're trying to go for something that can stretch you from a street aesthetic all the way to a dapper aesthetic. All right, let's go ahead and hop into loafer number two, which is going to be the slipper loafer. All right, next up we have the slipper loafer. Now these, in my opinion, are more suited for higher end casual and dapper wear. I wouldn't really try to go too casual with these. Polo, some slacks, chinos. I don't really know if I would wear these with jeans. Probably dark wash jeans could work with these, but because of the more narrow toe, overall more slimmer silhouette of the slipper loafer, I think that calls for a more dressed up kind of situation. A sweaters, cardigans, polos, denim jackets can even work. Not too much going on, distressing anything like that. Just a pretty simple dark wash, maybe a camel color, kind of like medium wash denim jacket would even work. But yeah, perfect with pants, perfect with shorts. If you want to wear a loafer, but maybe you're going to you know, a brunch at a maybe kind of elegant venue. Maybe you want to step it up a bit. Maybe you don't want to really just go with the penny loafer, especially with the lug sole. Uh, get yourself a pair of slippers. They can easily be worn there. They can be worn to summer weddings. It's wedding season, I think. Some Summertime is wedding season, right? I'm pretty sure. It's wedding season, perfect for weddings. Outdoor, indoor, doesn't matter. You can wear these with no-show socks. These look phenomenal with socks. Yeah, in my opinion, the slipper loafer, perfect option if you want to wear a loafer, but just go for a little more of a refined look, a little more of a classier look. This particular pair is from the company J Fitzpatrick. I think they're also based out of New York. They popped up on my Instagram feed. They were, this particular color was on sale. So I was able to go ahead and grab that absolute steal i think i paid like maybe a buck 60 bucks 70 but i think they retail for somewhere around three to 350 so it was an absolute no-brainer of a steal every time i wear them i get so many compliments they're extremely comfortable i can stand in these for hours walk around dance whatever so yeah if you want to step things up more classy look from higher and casual to dapper wear, highly suggest the slipper loafer, okay? And now let's go ahead and get into the last style that I'm gonna show you today, which is the loafer sneaker, okay? And last but not least, before we get into the outfits, I want to show you all the final loafer, and that is the loafer sneaker. Okay, now this one has a complete sneaker midsole, this particular pair is from the company Mark Nolan. When I first saw these, I was smitten because I was trying to find a double monk sneaker and it turned out that they oh, the double monk sneaker loafers existed. I went ahead and bought this. I've owned these for about oof, maybe close to four years now. They're still in great condition. I've worn them a lot. Could use a little bit of a cleaning, but other than that, I mean, they still look fantastic. They're extremely comfortable. Extreme. You, you, I could sleep in these. Out of the three that I just showed you, out of all of my loafers, maybe not all of them, my brown pair might give this a run for its money, but insanely, insanely comfortable loafer. Just like any of the others, you can wear them all day, every day, and you'll be fine. This one comes in like this creamish, creamish bone kind of colorway with gold buckles. Buckles because they're not actually functional. Well, yeah, they're not really functional, but it gives the aesthetic of a loafer. It gives the aesthetic of a double monk shoe. Now, all loafer sneakers aren't going to be double monks. I just happen to get this particular pair, but you can have, you can have the penny loafer, instead of having this lug sole on it, you can take it off, put this kind of rubber sole on it, and then you'll have yourself a penny loafer, penny loafer sneaker. Can't say enough. I would probably consider these to be right in the middle, uh, <laughs> right in the middle of the, of the spectrum of how to wear these, where I wouldn't 
really try to do anything street related with these, but they sit perfectly in that casual section. Anything you can think of casually, polos, dress shirts, chinos anything you can think of this shoe will work perfectly you can even wear it with the with a casual suit you know if you're gonna be doing summer weddings maybe not like a full-on gray suit black suit or anything like that but a linen suit seersucker suit things like that corduroy suit i happen to have one and i think these these work perfectly with it as well so yeah that casual mid-tier section, I think these absolutely shine in. These only cost me about $80, but I did get them on sale. I think they retail, and again, I'm gonna have all the prices up for you guys so you can see, but I think they retail for about 120, no more than 140, I wanna say. And yeah, I've owned these for many years. I've worn them many, many times. So if you want that hybrid loafer and sneaker, I would highly recommend this company's pair, but just in general, just look for a loafer sneaker and you'll be able to dress it up to a certain degree, keep it mainly casual, and you'll find yourself getting a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of value out of it because of just how many outfits you'll be able to see yourself wearing with a loafer sneaker. Once again, this is from Mark Nolan. So if you want to check them out, I'll have them along with J Fitzpatrick and Blackstock, Blackstock and Weber linked down below. So you can check all of them out, see their entire collection and decide for yourself what you want. But um, yeah, that's it. That's a little bit of a breakdown of each style. I kind of wanted to keep it simple and not try to go into like the backstory or anything of loafers. Just trying to give you an idea of what kind of shoe works with what style of outfit. So that way you have a better understanding of what you're getting yourself into before you make your purchase. And to even hammer that home and to hammer that point home a little bit more, I've got three outfits right behind me. Gonna put those on, show you how they look and we'll wrap up the video. All right, so here's the first outfit. This one is gonna be done with the sneaker loafers. What we have here is a very simple but very uh, standout-ish statement kind of outfit. I'm wearing this beautiful, beautiful champagne and gold-ish kind of bowling shirt from Scotch and Soda. It's part of their collaboration with the Elvis movie that came out, I believe, last year or two years ago. If you hadn't seen this shirt before, you can go ahead and check out it along with the rest of my scotch and soda well at the moment my scotch and soda collection i'll leave a card up here for you to go ahead and click on that check it out if you will but yeah that's where this is from i'm also wearing these linen scotch and soda shorts that are also in my scotch and soda videos you can go ahead and check them out there as well another outfit it's super simple the white pairs well with the cream slash bone colorway of the shoe the gold picks up on the gold in the shoe and and this wasn't supposed to really go with this outfit but it works perfect with it as well picking up on those cream tones in the shoe and blending with the champagne and gold in the shirt so yeah this is outfit number one super comfortable you're going to brunch you don't want to do too much throw something on like this these shoes will work perfectly perfectly simple perfectly comfortable outfit that i absolutely love and yeah that's the first one let's go ahead and get into the second outfit now all right, and here we have the second outfit. If you couldn't tell, this outfit just absolutely screams summertime. I wanted to wear these mint linen pants from Scotch and Soda with this mint half, this like, it's color blocking. Um, it's a color blocking half mint, half white linen shirt from Shein. Uh, it's got this huge, bold sunflower design on both the like rib and the, well, the stomach and the arm. And it's just an absolute 
statement piece. Now, of course, the orange, brown, yellowish tones in the shirt pair extremely well with the shoes. Here's the hat again. This is the outfit that hat was actually meant for. This is the perfect outfit for the summer because my ankles are out, so that way I can get some air circulation going down there. Linen, this is a cotton linen blend, extremely lightweight, breathable. Linen shirt, extremely light, so that way I won't feel bogged down or anything like that if I do happen to inevitably sweat. Um, the hat, protect me from sun rays, anything like that, keep the sun out of my eyes, all that good stuff. This is one of the better outfits I think I've ever put together. It's just a shame that I've never actually worn it out in public. But for the YouTube family, for the social media family, here it is in all its glory. Perfect, perfect, perfect summer outfit. All right, these slippers, like I said, I consider this a bit of a higher end dressed up look and these slippers work absolutely flawlessly work absolutely perfectly with them all right so without further ado let's go ahead and get into the third outfit because i'm starting to sweat a little bit now and wrap up this video all right and for the final outfit when those summertime nights start to roll around you want to step out this is a perfect way to go ahead and wear those penny loafers uh i would consider this more of like a in between dressy, an, an elevated casual kind of manner. I have this stunning black well-fitted polo from Express. I went ahead and paired it with these black Wrangler Rancher dress pants in black. And I have on the black loafers. Tucked it in for that more refined kind of look, add a little bit of class to it. Don't mind my phone, simple and if you're find yourself stepping indoors and there's some AC, or I guess I should say if I find myself stepping indoors and there's AC, throw on this utility jacket that I got from Primark in all black, pop the collar over the top to give it that kind of Miami Vice retro 80s aesthetic and yeah, you have a perfectly, perfectly great outfit for nights in the summer, date night, stepping out, anything like that, going to a nice, nice, going to a nice lounge, Whatever the case may be, I think this is a perfect summertime outfit. But the black loafers, they can also be worn during the daytime. Those cream loafers, they can be worn at night. And those slippers, they can be worn at night as well. So just because you see me in a daytime outfit, or in this case, a nighttime outfit, doesn't mean that this particular style is meant for that time of day. Yeah, I think we got everything covered. That is the video, three loafers, three different styles. This is just part of my collection. I'm gonna do some photo shoots and have those put up on my website so that way I can go a little bit more in depth on, you know, the possibilities of what can be done with each style of loafer. But yeah, just give it a try. I really think you're gonna like it. And with that said, that is the end of the video. As always, please like, share, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate the views, the feedback, the comments, all of that just really means the world to me. So if we can go ahead and get ourselves to 500 subscribers, as always, everyone, thank you so much. I hope these style tips help you. And with that being said, until we put the pieces together again, later.